It is a very cool looking bag. It's a very stylish looking this bag. This bag has came back with a bag. of their styles became very fun and iconic. Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's talk about the 11 bags or types of bags that I think are going to be hot with a capital H for 2023. I think we're going to be seeing so much more of these bags. I think they're gaining in popularity. I think we're going to see them on social media and there's some of them that have actually made their way onto my radar and onto my wish list. And I want to share these 11 bags with you today. And the first that has really caught my attention recently are Celine bags. Now, not the Celine luggage bag that I think is maybe past its peak of popularity, but I am seeing so much more Celine everywhere. The Celine print, the monogram, the Celine Triumph bag, the clasp, I think they're elegant. I think they're understated. I did see one on their promotional material not that long ago. That's a quilted type bag, a shoulder bag. Stunning. I think these bags are I think they're having a moment. I think they're going to continue to increase in popularity. I think we're going to see them a lot more and they certainly have been grabbing my attention so much more than they ever did before. I did talk about Celine before on a video I did on understated bags and I do think these have a very classic understated look but they just, there's something about them that's grabbing me. I'm seeing a lot more of the brand and I think it's going to continue to gain in popularity as we move into 2023. Second on my list and I don't think it's going anywhere, it is the YSA shopper tote the large version that I keep going back to visit every time I do a shopping vlog I do think it's a stunning bag they did have quite a hefty price increase towards the end of 2022 it is quite an expensive bag now but I think it's stunning I think it's statementy I think we're going to continue to see it over social media I think it's going to continue to be popular I do think big bags are coming back I think they're going to continue to come back there's been a moving in the trend recently over the last number of months moving back towards bigger bags and I don't think that's going to stop I think that's going to continue and I think we're going to continue to see this YSL shopper tote quite a bit I think it's going to be one of the hot bags for a while and I don't think it's going anywhere as we move into 2023 and if you do hear the noises that are coming through this door please ignore them it's my two young sons having lots of fun in my office I don't even want to think about what they're doing out there while I fill in this video but whatever keeps them entertained number three and this is a bag that personally I do not like I just can't get on board with this bag, there's something about it that's just not grabbing me and it's the Chanel 22 bag. Setting aside all of the videos we've watched or the feedback that's came back with quality issues or problems with the bag or cracking of the leather, even without that, because I know they do denim and they do tweed and they do different fabrics, I just can't love this bag. I don't think it's a bag that I could make work. I think that when I see it on certain influencers and certain very stylish people on Instagram, they can make it look really, really well. I just don't think I could style it like that. I think I would look frumpy with it. I think it would look, it just, I don't think I could make it work, but I don't think it's any going anywhere. And there are talks that it's coming out in a mini version, a smaller version. Take that alongside the continuing push of it right by Chanel, the different fabrics, the different prints that it's coming in and out in. And if they're going to bring it out in this mini version, I don't think the Chanel 22 bag is going anywhere. I think it's going to continue to be coming through and probably gain in popularity through 2022, even though it's one of those bags that I just can't get on board with. Number four, and it is hobo bags. I think the hobo style of bag is coming back. I think it's going to continue to grow and gain in popularity. And I think it's going to be one of the hot bags that we're seeing in 2023. Givenchy have a version which is beautiful. It has caught my attention. I think it's really, really lovely. And it's the Givenchy hobo bag, name that fits exactly what it is. But I do think it's going to continue to gain. I think there is a lot of movement towards this style coming back again. We hadn't seen too much of this style for a while, but I think it's becoming more... Popular and Louis Vuitton have actually made a loop hobo version bag. I'm probably not saying that right, but the loop bag that Louis Vuitton has, which I actually have beside me, this is the loop bag. They have made a hobo version of this bag, which I think just shows that the trend again is moving back towards the hobo bags. If you look across most of the fashion houses, you're going to see a lot more of that style of bag than we have for a while. And I think it's going to come in hot for 2023. Next one, sticking with Louis Vuitton, and I don't think it's going anywhere. And it is the Louis Vuitton side trunk. This bag hit the scene with 
with a splash. It was popular right away. If you talk to people in Louis Vuitton, they were telling me that they couldn't keep up with the demand for this bag. It was on reservation only. You had to order it. If you did see it in store, it was generally only as a display and then you had to order one in. And it was as fast as it was coming into the stores, it was selling out. They have this in monogram. They have it in leather. My friend Deborah from Wild Unfiltered bought this bag. Dale bought this bag I think in Monogram. This bag has just taken a hold and is very very popular. It was also on the runway and walked down the catwalk with Louis Vuitton. It is a very cool looking bag. It's a very stylish looking bag. I think it is a take and a twist on a classic Monogram bag. It carries hints of the trunks like the trunk I have behind me here. You'll see hints of that carrying over onto the side trunk and I do think it's going to continue to gain in popularity. I think Louis Vuitton are going to continue to push it especially when they're going to bring out I think more leathers and colours in it and I think this is a bag we're going to be seeing about for some time. Next I think it's going to continue to gain in popularity our larger carry-all type bags. If you look down the Louis Vuitton website and the new bags that are coming in they actually have a bag that's called the Louis Vuitton carry-all bag but a lot of the new styles that are coming out have that look about it and that feel about it. We were talking about the YSL shopper tote earlier. There is a slouchy Loewe bag that's come through that is very very stunning it's very understated and classic looking but it's a slouchy larger carry-all type bag I think these bags are going to continue to take off in 2023 I think we're going to see an awful lot more of them and I think they're going to keep having a moment is it going to be the end of TBE and Cassie Thorpe tidy tiny bag energy I don't think they're going away completely. I will always be a lover of my mini bags, but I definitely think we're going to see a shift towards more larger bags coming in to the trends and having a moment and the fashionistas. And I think that's what we're going to see a lot more of. There's so many of them about in the different houses. I just can't see them going anywhere anytime soon. Next, I think is going to continue on its rise or re-rise in popularity is the Fendi baguette. And I have the purple sequin here and we have the multicolor one sitting behind me. This bag has came back with a bang. Whether or not it's all to be credited to the Sex and the City follow on just like that. I know Carrie Bradshaw had this bag originally in the Sex and the City version. This one specifically is what this is based on. It then featured again in the new series. Fendi recently released a 25th anniversary collection of the baguette which was giving it its moment. There was some very beautiful intricate designs in that collection. It's something certainly that Fendi are celebrating and pushing and I don't think the baguette is going anywhere. I think this is something they're going to continue to push and continue to highlight and I think it's something that's going to keep having its moment and keep rising and I think we're going to see a lot of it in 2023 and I think it's going to be one of those bags that is very popular and very sought after. I think they're going to keep bringing out different colours, different fabrics, different sequins, just it's having a moment. The next bag that I think is going to continue to have a rise is the Gucci Jackie bag. So obviously whenever Alessandro was with Gucci they had a rise in popularity overall. I think a lot of their styles became very fun and iconic. They brought back some of the old archives, they re-released some things and I do think that Gucci had a rise in its popularity and in its bags and in a spike and they, they drew on their past creations and gave them a modern twist and I think that went down very well and the Jackie bag has been around for quite a few seasons but I think it's going to continue to grow and become more popular. I think we're going to see more about it. I think it's going to move out the Marmont line if I'm completely honest for Gucci but I do think it's something we're going to see a lot of and I think it's something that's going to continue to be about and I think they're going to keep working it although with the creative director leaving with Gucci I suppose nobody really knows just what direction the brand is going to take but I don't think the Jackie bag is going anywhere. Next I'm going back to my look bag and it's Crescent bags in general. I think we're seeing more of them. I think more of the houses are bringing them out. This is the Louis Vuitton loop version. As I said, they've also now brought out a loop hobo version of this bag. Fendi have a version of this bag. Miu Miu have a version of this bag which is coming in quite hot at the moment. Tega have a version of this bag. The Loewe Luna is a version of this bag. So I think the Crescent shape is going to continue to be hot and have its moment in 2023. I think when you see it coming across more of the design houses and more of them putting time and effort and pushing those shapes I think they're going to be around for a while and I don't think they're going to fade anytime soon. Next one might be a bit questionable to some people but the twist bag for Louis Vuitton 
I think Louis Vuitton are pushing it. I think they're trying to bring it back. I think they're trying to give it a new lease of life and re-release it. The twist bag did go down the runway. This year, they are bringing out new versions of it. They're bringing out new shapes of it. They're bringing it out with different straps, thick straps. It was featured in Emily in Paris, which is pretty strong product placement from the brand. It also has come out now with a top handle and a more refined version, which kind of comes in like this. I think it's a bag that I would be interested in seeing, especially with the colors the twist bags can come out in. And I think it's something that Louis Vuitton hasn't given up yet on yet. I think personally the twist is an underrated bag, but I do think the brand is continuing to push it and trying to tweak it and change it to attract attention with it again. And I think it's a bag that they're gonna try and keep rising in popularity, especially with them pushing their leather lines. But I think the twist is something we're gonna see a lot more of, especially coming directly from the house. And finally, I think we're going to see more of the takeaway bag. I think we're probably going to see that on Instagram, on influencers, on fashionistas. To me, it looks exactly like a takeaway carton bag. I don't think it's a bag that I am going to be rocking. I don't think I'm cool enough to pull that bag off, but I do think we're going to see it. There's also the YSL June box bag. I love this bag. And it's a bit like the takeaway bag, but it's a softer version. It's like a box bag. It's quilted YSL on the front of it. I actually think it's really beautiful. I haven't seen it in person, but it's a bag that's made it onto my radar very strongly and I want to see it in person. I think it could look very cool, very edgy if it's worn in the right way. It's a bag definitely that's caught my attention and I think we're going to see more of these box type bags, be it the June type box bag or the takeaway carton type box bag. I think we're gonna see more of that square, stronger silhouette. And I think that's gonna be something that's coming through a bit more through 2023. And I think it's gonna rise a bit in popularity and have a bit of a moment. Those are my thoughts on the 11 bags or types of bags that I think are going to be hot in 2023. If you've looked at any of these bags or if there's any bags that you think are going to be hot in 2023 or any bags that you think are going to come up strong, please do let us know in the comment box. Let's keep the conversation going, see what we think is going to be all over the Instagram over the next year and YouTube, of course, as well. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.